How's it going ladies and gentlemen? It's Brian Leachy. Thank you so much for tuning into the channel. As always, I really appreciate it. Today, I digress a little bit from the normal content. I'm a brand new YouTuber. I don't have a lot of things going on yet. I don't have a nice camera. I don't have a lot of fancy things. But I'm working on upgrading every little aspect of it. And today, my first item in my upgrade to this YouTube channel has arrived in the mail. I just woke up in my Within the Ruins PJs, just brushed my hair for you guys, and now we're gonna unbox my newest upgrade to this channel so that way when I bring you guys content, you have the best that I can bring you possible. What arrived today in the mail is something that's gonna assist with my lighting. As you can see, I'm kind of dark, and this is a new apartment. The room is echoey, and there's nothing here yet, so I'm gonna work on fixing the sound. Today is about the lighting. I wanna show you what I got, and we're gonna do a comparison uh, from what, what it looks like now to what it looks like after I get this new lighting. So let's dive right in. Look at this mayth, oh my god. So what I ordered was the 12 inch QIEU selfie ring light with dual tripod stand. This is what it's supposed to look like once it's complete. And uh, let's, let's get to opening it. <laughs> there she is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the contents of the box. Let's get to undoing it. Boom! There you have it, folks. This is the contents that came in the box of the 12-inch QIEU ring light stand. This is gonna totally upgrade my face, dude. All right, now let's get into what each piece does, get to assembling it, and then we'll get to demoing it. So excited right now. Again, as a new YouTuber, it's so important for you to get good lighting, good sound, good things like that. I'm just starting out. I looked at a bunch of tutorials to make sure that everything is on point and that I can bring you guys the best stuff. So thank you for watching. Normally it's music stuff, but today I want to, I want to take you on my journey. You know, as a new YouTuber, just what, where, where I'm beginning. Right now I have a phone, it's on a selfie stand. That's it, I have my guitar stuff and I just press film and I just start talking. So slowly but surely, we're gonna see the upgrades as the channel progresses. And I thank you guys so much for being patient with me. Like and subscribe and follow my journey if you find it interesting and uh, let's keep going. Now the first thing it comes with is this small, tripod stand. This is so that you can put it onto your, you know, your tabletop, just right in front of you. I think that's very nifty. It has adjustable legs. It's like a giant spider. I really like that because, you know, it'll be more direct on my face, so the lighting is really nice for my teaching and for my lessons. Let's move on. This is the little phone stand. You know, it adjusts like this. And what you do is you stick it in here, it screws in right here, and this way the camera or the phone or whatever you're using is fully illuminated by the ring surrounded by the camera right there. This is going to be very nice, very good for the lighting. It's also got a flexible gooseneck, pretty stiff, pretty sturdy. And this thing rotates right here, rotating bezel, so you can do landscape and you can do portrait. Let's move on! Okay, I started looking at this stuff and I think we're gonna need this manual because there's a couple things here that I'm not understanding. Okay. Let's see if we can try to connect it with the tripod, okay? That's the first thing we wanna do. I wanna see this thing in action. We're gonna loosen this little screw here. Not too much, it looks like it can fall out easily. Looks like you have to unlatch all these little latches and then it is able to expand. Ooh, it's like a lightsaber. <laughs> now this thing's supposed to be 63 inches tall at its, at its full length, almost fell over. What, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, over five feet tall. So it'll be pretty high for what we need. Now let's open it up. Oh, I guess that's it. Oh. How the heck? Got it. So it's open. I don't know if I want it all the way down. I guess so, maybe. We will tighten up this little knob novel here. It's now on the floor. All right, now I'm just adjusting it to a height that you guys can actually see it. So that way it's, we can all do this together. I've latched all the little things and got it to the according height and I want to get it into a way that you can see all the little moving parts. 
And now apparently we need this little doohickey, which has this little rotating knob right here. Uh, I believe that's to screw it in. But what we're gonna do is we're going to remove this little knob. I tightened it. Now it's these two pieces are separated. It was through here, but now it's apart. You wanna stick this little spinny, uh, this little thing that has this little loop at the bottom into the center of that little piece and then lock it in, tighten it up, and now you have a little piece that can rotate side to side. Does it rotate? Maybe not. Oh, the instructions say 180, so it only, it only goes like this, but it goes a full sideways, so if you want an angle over here, or an angle over here, or here, or here, you have all those angles. Let's put it straight up. G, let's get the ring light on it. Bring it down enough so that we can see it. So we're gonna put it up here. There's a little screw hole at the bottom of this, and you rotate the knob underneath in order to tighten it. Okay, she's tightened on, dude. Oh, I see. This little piece here, that spins, it has like a little ball bearing right here. That is so, obviously, you know, I'm sure some of you already knew this before me. If I wanted to place it, let me unscrew this. It's unscrewed. Now we put that piece on, there's a little screw hole at the bottom. And tighten that up. And now the tighter I screw this little knob here, the more sturdy this ball bearing gets. So if I loosen it, it just wobbles around and stuff like that. But if I tighten this, this knob, it stays securely in place. Now we put the ring light on top of this, and I'm sure it'll give us awesome angles. Spinning, spinning. Now I can angle the light downwards, which means I can illuminate my pedals so you guys can see the piano when I'm teaching. You guys can see all the gear lit up on the floor. That's pretty awesome. It rotates entirely sideways, and the other way, it even rotates backwards in case I need to light up my ceiling for some reason. Let's say I went to some random angle and tighten it up, and it stays right there. Pretty sweet. I think I find that very handy because I do a lot of top-down views of my hands playing piano and of my pedal board on the floor. So this is gonna be really awesome. You guys, I can't wait. Let me get the, this phone stand out of the way so you can see me. Now we have a second phone stand. This one actually attaches to the base, to the actual stand itself down here. In case you don't want to be saturated in the actual light, you don't want the light surrounding your phone, you put it somewhere else. You put it below the light and you'll probably get different cool lighting angles. I don't know anything about lighting. I'm just going to have to like move around and see what happens and see the different effects. But that's all we're here. We're here to explore, we're here to experiment, and we're here to learn. Now, it come, the, the little part that wraps around the stand comes with this little kind of filler. Oh, I see. So this layer of, of stand is too wide for the hole here. This opens and closes to wrap around it. It gives me a little something to grip. So what you actually want to do is leave the, the spool in there, make sure that the opening end is also, are, the two opening ends are lined up so that they both open together. And then you can attach it to the upper layer of the stand. Boom, baby! Then you take this little metal latch, put it onto the appropriate rung that you would like, and then flip the tab closed like a belt buckle kind of, and you just lock it down. Now I have an area for my phone or camera below the actual light. Oh. Be careful, don't let it drop. You might shatter the lights here. Now, this is the remote that's connected to the actual ring light. Plug it in. We're gonna uncoil it. There, got it. Oh, there's another one. Alrighty. The moment you've all been waiting for, let there be light! Now, this is the default light temperature, the light brightness and all that stuff, but it is fully adjustable. Let's see how we do this. I can bring the light level down, and I can bring the light level back up. 
very adjustable. That's with these up and down buttons. Now, there's a button labeled model that you can't see. It's outside of camera, but I'm pulling it. Let's see what it does. Ooh, it changes the temperature. It's more of a, of a, of a cooler temperature, like a blue light, something like that. And then you have, ooh, it's more warm. Let's see. Oh no, this is more warm. This is more cold. This is more neutral. Got it. So we can go to the warm, turn it up right, or turn it down low. Or we can make it a little cooler in here and bring it down low. Bring it up high. Do whatever I want, because it's my mind. But wait, the lighting's on you guys. This is my channel. Let's compare what the video looked like before to what it looks like after we have added the light. Um, this is the moment I've been waiting for. Hopefully you've been waiting for it too. Alrighty guys, so I put the camera into the mount inside of the ring here. You're seeing what my videos would have looked like prior to the ring of light. And now we're going to finally see what the videos are going to look like once I turn the light on. Here is setting number one. Is it beautiful? How do I look? Is it wonderful? This is the cool light setting, so it's kind of a little bit more like an LED. It's like brighter. I can adjust the brightness. A little lower. This is the lowest on the cool. Next. 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 Wow, it goes pretty bright. Especially when, when it's dark. Sometimes I film at night and there's no light in this room because I just we don't have lamps yet. Now. Here's the standard one with no temperature, no cool, no warm. That's pretty bright. That's like illuminating me. I, I, I feel enlightened. It's lit, baby! This is really bright. Like, I, I'm actually really impressed. Now, here is the warm temperature. Ooh, so warm, so cozy, so comfortable. Let's turn it down. Oopsies, not off. And back up. There you go. So there's all types of settings. I'm just kind of playing with it a little bit. You know what I didn't do? I didn't do the adjust the adjustment on the. There you go. Here's the regular light setting. Let's bring it down. And back up. Now, I am extremely thrilled about this. I'm on the regular temperature setting right now, uh, the regular LED, and I just, it's really cool to have this light facing me and making sure that you guys can see everything very clearly. You guys are going to be able to see the pedals, the guitar, the piano. Everything I'm showing you is going to be that much more clear thanks to this ring light. Again, this is the QI EU 12 inch ring light. I got it from Amazon. It was like, I forget, like 45 bucks maybe. But it's pretty cool because it comes with all these trinkets, all these accessories, all this cool stuff. Oh, one more thing. It comes with this Bluetooth remote. I believe what it does is it controls my camera. So if I press the button, the camera will stop filming. Uh, I press it again, it will start filming again. Or photos, you know, it will take photos or it won't take photos. Well, it'll just take photos if I just put it on the camera. Um, and that's what this little remote does. Comes with a little, little string thing, a little lanyard. It connects via Bluetooth, so I can sit back here, get ready for my shot, and go, what's going on, everybody? So I really appreciate you guys tuning in. I know it's not the normal content full of music and tutorials and demonstrations and things of the sort, but I wanted to take you with me on my YouTube journey as I grow my channel and do these little upgrades to make everything just that much better for your viewing experience. And I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and this little demo. Uh, and